So, uh, hello everyone. Uh, this is Joseph uh, Kenson Saka from uh, Malawi, and uh, uh, I'm an environment and uh, climate activist. So, um, today uh, I'm not going to talk about environment and uh, climate change, but at least uh, I'm going to talk about uh, one cultural aspect about uh, the country Malawi, uh, where I come from. For your own information, uh, Malawi is in the southern part of Africa, and uh, it's uh, uh, neighboring to, maybe you, you, you've heard about Tanzania, or maybe Zambia, or maybe you've heard about Mozambique. So all these countries are neighboring countries to Malawi. Zambia is in the north of Malawi, and uh, uh, I mean, Tanzania is in the north, sorry. <laughs> yeah, so, um, and uh, Zambia, it's uh, in the central neighboring part of Malawi, and uh, as well as Mozambique in the south. But today, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, something which is very interesting for me. Uh, that's food. I like eating. Don't you? <laughs> yeah, so uh, I'm going to take you through um, how to prepare one of the staple food in Malawi. When I mean staple food, I mean... Uh, the most uh, common food. You know, there are those kind of food when you visit a particular country, you can't move out of that country without having a taste to such particular type of foods. So, when you come to Malawi, you can only arrive to Malawi after you taste in Sima. If you come to Malawi, you don't eat Sima, oh, sorry, you did not visit Malawi. So, I'm going to uh, take you through how to prepare Sima. To begin with, um, I'm going to tell you the simple ingredients. It's, it's not that complicated. It's very simple. So you only need to have maize flour. Maize, because in Malawi, we, 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 it's an agriculture-based country, and we grow maize so much. Maize is uh, one of the crops that is largely grown in Malawi. So uh, here with me, I have uh, maize flour. So this is maize flour. Uh, it's it's already prepared from the maize, then you take it to the maize meal, then they make this flour. So this is what we prepare. We used to prepare sima. Uh, you need a cooking stick. Yeah, this one. Good. This one will take us through. And you also need a pot, of course, just a small one. It depends on the uh, number of people and the how much you want to, to cook the sima. But uh, for maybe this one would be okay for three, four people. I think. Yeah, maybe. 